So there are numerous studies that prove that children who get a basic understanding of financial concepts early in life are much less likely to have financial trouble later in life. And it might be surprising how many opportunities uh, us parents have to teach our kids about financial matters early on. Our financial expert Andy Manningly here with uh, some tips for moms and dads. And we hear this every once in a while. I don't think we put it into practice, but what are some of the misconceptions that younger kids tend to have that we need to correct? Well, one of the biggest ones is, is they think that it's the magic card is all you need and you just pay for anything that you want and you can walk through the store and buy anything because you have the magic card and they don't really understand that you have to then have some money to pay off the magic card. Oh, so, so it's, that's not how it works? <laughs> oh, oh. All right. So are there any foundational aspe uh, aspects of money that need to be taught? Yeah, one of the concepts that I think we should teach all of our children is the spend, save, and share concept, that there's only really three things you can do with your money. And so any money they get, teach them to save, you know, 40% um, of it, have them, allow them to spend 50% of it, and then 10% to give to someone else. That's a great idea. So what are some of the teachable moments you think that we can use to reinforce some of these ideas we want to teach them? A great one is, and I know parents may not like to do this, is but get your kids involved in the grocery shopping, make a list, and even as young as seven or eight, Take them to the grocery store and show how you go through the list and you avoid things in the candy aisle because that's more <laughs> of a need than a want that you need. And that's a great way to reinforce some of those financial concepts. All right. So give us an appropriate uh, time to start with allowances and how much should we, we talk about uh, giving them for allowance? I like to start around 9 or 10 and give them $3 per month times their age. But also going with that, a little bit of financial responsibility. So you want them to do the spend, save, and share. So make sure that they have about $15 worth a month of expenses that they have to take out of that. So you're kind of teaching them how to do all of that by giving them a little bit of money. All right, so give us uh, recommendations about increasing their financial responsibility. Yeah, when they're 15 or 16, they're probably doing more things. So now you can start giving them more money in the allowance and increase it by how much you want to give them in responsibility. Yeah. And if they start driving, make them pay for the gas. But you can give them the money, but make them responsible mm. for that. All right, so why is it so important that, that we get, uh, show them how to give responsibly at an early age? I think it's important to show them how to give, you know, at, a, at, a, at an early age is so that they understand that giving back is also part of what they do. And then the other thing is, if you're teaching them all these concepts, if they have a mistake or something, it's, you know, at 14, it may be that it's $100 you've messed up. But if it's 24 before they have any financial responsibility, it could be a $100,000 mistake. Ooh, so, yeah. you know, you want to make that mistake early and learn from that. All right, great ideas. All right, I'm getting to work, Andy. Okay. Thank you very much. He's going to hold me accountable. 1219. Hey, so